Ever wondered what makes a fish go on the attack when they see your lure dancing in the water? In this comprehensive guide, we'll unveil the hidden triggers that set a fish's predatory instincts ablaze. There are three primary reasons why fish bite lures, the feeding strike, the reaction strike, and the territorial strike. We'll explore each of these reasons in detail, and by the end of this video, you'll not only comprehend why fish bite lures but also possess the skills and wisdom to outweep them. Now, let's dive into the first reason why fish bite lures, the feeding strike. The feeding strike is a fascinating phenomenon. It's when fish strike lures because they believe it's food. This is one of the primary reasons why fish bite lures, and it's a crucial concept for every angler to grasp. To trigger the feeding strike, we need to play the role of the ultimate impersonator. It's all about imitating their natural prey, becoming the irresistible target in the water. That's where our lures come into play. Watch closely. Now, let's dive into a groundbreaking study conducted by researchers at The Ohio State University. Their work delves into the fascinating realm of recreational walleye fishing and how lure color plays a pivotal role in different water conditions. The researchers aim to understand how changing water clarity, caused by factors like suspended sediments or algal blooms, affects lure success in the recreational walleye fishery. They also explored whether the behavior of recreational anglers adapts to these shifts in water conditions. They found that bright colors like orange or white tend to attract bigger fish. Now, let's delve into the thrilling world of the reaction strike. The reaction strike, a burst of predatory aggression triggered by the presence of a tempting lure. It's a technique every angler should have in their arsenal, especially when fish aren't in an active feeding mode. What exactly is a reaction strike? It's when a fish darts in with fury, not because it's hungry, but because it perceives a threat. It's a game of strategy and instincts. Take a look at these remarkable moments. Fish, provoked into action, strike with unstoppable force. It's a dance of lures and instincts, a game where anglers play the role of puppeteers. So, how can you master the art of the reaction strike? It starts with your choice of lure. Noisy and erratic lures are your best friends. Change up your retrieval speed, mimic an injured prey, and watch as fish can't resist the challenge. Now, let's uncover the mysteries of the territorial strike. The territorial strike, a fierce display of dominance as fish defend their territory. It's a tactic that becomes more pronounced as these underwater giants mature. But what exactly is a territorial strike? It's when a fish launches a ferocious attack to protect its turf. Imagine the adrenaline rush as lures intrude into their domain. Watch closely as these titans of the deep react with astounding aggression. It's a territorial battle, and lures are the bait in this strategic game. So, how can you harness the power of the territorial strike? It begins with knowing where these guardians of the waters hold sway. Target their territories, use lures that mimic intruders, and let their territorial instincts do the rest. As our journey through the depths of fishing tactics comes to a close, remember that angling is an art, a science, and an adventure all rolled into one. We've explored the feeding strike, where fish indulge their hunger, the reaction strike, where instincts ignite, and the territorial strike, where boundaries are fiercely defended. In the world beneath the surface, every lure tells a story, and every strike is a dance of strategy and skill. So, whether you're a seasoned angler or just dipping your toes into this vast world, embrace the mysteries of the water, and let your passion for angling lead the way. After all, in the world of fishing, every cast is an invitation to a thrilling encounter. Tight lines, fellow anglers, and may your next adventure be unforgettable.